Hello there, this is John V, software evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching a Jscape MFT server tutorial. In today's video, we'll show you how to apply digital signatures on your AS2 messages. For those of you who don't have any idea what an AS2 digital signature is, I suggest you read the post, you don't need HTTPS to apply digital signatures on your AS2 messages. You can find a link to that in the description. In that post, you'll understand the motivations of employing digital signatures on AS2 and why you don't need HTTPS to use them. Just to give you an overview, this tutorial is divided into two main sections. The first section talks about what you need to do on the sending AS2 server side, while the second section deals with steps that need to be carried out on the receiving AS2 server side. Initially, it will be your trading partner who will be doing the steps outlined in the second section. However, since you'll also be receiving AS2 messages yourself, then you'll also need to pay attention to that discussion. First, let's talk about what to set up on the AS2 sender. I'll assume you already have an AS2 service up and running on Jscape MFT server. If that's not the case yet, then I suggest you watch the video, The Quick Start Guide to Setting Up an AS2 Server. Ready with your AS2 server? Let's proceed then. The main objective on the sending server side is to export a digital certificate containing the sending server's public key. This certificate will then be imported on the receiving AS2 server. But before we go about exporting that digital certificate, there are a couple of things we need to configure. First, we need to check whether we already have an existing server key. In the context of Jscape MFT server, the server key is an element that consists of a private key and its associated digital certificate and public key. Go to Keys and then Server Keys tab. See if you have an existing server key there. In this example, let's just use the server key with the alias AS2 server key. If you have a fresh installation of Jscape MFT server, the only server key you'll have in there would likely be example underscore RSA. Don't use that. That's only for testing purposes. You'll need to create your own server key. I've provided a link to the documentation if you need help with that. Once you've confirmed that you already have a server key, go back to the main screen. Click the Domains tab, select the domain that contains your AS2 service, and click Edit. Once inside the domain, navigate to the Trading Partners module and edit your AS2 Trading Partner. Scroll down to the Message panel, tick the Signing Key checkbox, and then select your server key. In this example, that would be AS2 server key. At this point, you're actually telling Jscape MFT server, hey, I want you to sign all outgoing AS2 messages using the private key in the server key named AS2 server key. After you've selected the signing key, you need to tell the server what signature algorithm it should use for signing. For this example, let's just use SHA-256. Although they're also available in the list of signature algorithms, avoid SHA-1 and MD5 as they already have serious vulnerabilities. Once you're done, click OK. Now we're ready to export that digital certificate. Go back to the Keys menu and then go to Server Keys. Select your server key. Again, in this example, that would be AS2 Server Key. Click the Export drop-down list and select Certificate. You'll then be asked to give the certificate file a name. This is just a file name, so you may leave the default name unchanged. Select the X509 format and then click OK. Once the certificate is downloaded to your system, save the file in a safe place. And then when you're ready, retrieve that file and hand it over to your trading partner out of band. Okay, we're now done with the first section and can now proceed to the steps that need to be carried out on the receiving end. Actually, there's only one thing that needs to be done on the receiving end. Your trading partner only needs to import the digital certificate you exported on that last step. 
That digital certificate actually contains the public key that corresponds to the private key your server will be using to sign each outgoing AS2 message. In order for the AS2 receiver to verify the digital signature on those AS2 messages, the receiver will need to have that private key's corresponding public key. And so that's why your trading partner, which will serve as the receiver, will need to import that digital certificate. The exact importation procedure will vary from one AS2 server to another, but if your trading partner also happens to be using a Jscape MFT server installation, this is how they would do it. Note that you'll also need to pay attention to these steps because if your trading partner will also be digitally signing the AS2 messages they send you, then you'll need to import their digital signatures as well. So on the receiving end, go to keys and then host keys. Notice that you're going to the host keys tab and not the server keys tab. Click the import button and then assign a key alias to the digital certificate. This is just an arbitrary name that you'll use in referring to this particular certificate on Jscape MFT server. Click the Browse button and select the digital certificate file you want to import. And then click OK to finalize the import. You should now see the newly imported digital certificate in your list of host keys. So if you now send an AS2 message to your trading partner, your partner should be able to receive a message with this bit of information indicating that the AS2 message is digitally signed. That's it. You know how to use digital signatures on your AS2 messages.